Well, hey there, Internet. I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love. Yes, it's Patreon review time. <laughs> The superheroes of the big two could be argued to be the modern day equivalent of the gods of old, such as the Greek, or Norse, or Egyptian pantheons, or perhaps the Knights of the Round Table, whose exploits existed in folklore centuries before they were ever written down. And since my last single comic review was way, way back in the mists of season one, and of a very British nature, it's long past time that I review a comic that's more accessible to my friends across the pond. To this end, esteemed viewers one and all, I give you Patriotica. Originally published in 2016, Patriotica tells the tale of Erin, the latest host of the goddess Athena, who fights villainy in all its myriad forms, while Erin still tries to live her own life. Coming to us via Kickstarter, Olympus Studios eventually crowdfunded a second issue in 2018. And at this rate it'll take at least a decade before Patriotica gets through a single adventure. But anyway, let's dig into Patriotica number one and see whether or not this comic is worthy of my house of love. Roll title! With the last of her strength, the goddess Athena rescues a fellow heroine. Today is not your end, hero. Today, we become one. But with her power fading, she must find a new host. I must find another heroic and powerful host before it is too late. And wouldn't you know, the only match in range is Erin. Is this even safe? We had to sign a paper just to buy this pepper. There's no way little chicken Aaron would even lick that thing. I'll show you. I'll win that bet and you'll be cleaning the apartment for a month. <laughs> but Erin will have to do, as there's no time to argue, when a war wraith descends upon the pair. What's happening? I'm giving us a chance. Oh man, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that pepper. South American chili peppers. The stories I could tell. Out of time and out of options, Athena Omega bequeaths a portion of her power to her new host. I feel really strong. This newfound power is enough to repel the war wraith. That was awesome, Aaron. Dear Diary, I am never eating chili peppers again. This one was so hot I hallucinated it was a superhero. Hmm, again? Cut to some time later, and her first flying lesson. Quit being chicken, Erin. Now go! Tanya! Erin! <laughs> Tanya tried to murder her friend. Comics, folks! But Athena intervenes once again. That was really messed up, Tanya. Oh, come on, Sam. She can handle a little stinky water. I hope you can handle a little stinky water, Tanya. All of which leads us to another House of Love top tip. Don't throw your friends from high places. It's just not cool. But then, the news reports that the army are being overrun by giant insects. Erin flies to the scene. I've never even flown outside of my state, and that was by airplane. And while US infantry aren't the brightest, 
A change of attire soon brings the message home. I think I'm in love! And so our comic ends with the reveal of our villains. By the purple puppeted hand of Bree, Linkara was right. Ancient Egypt really is trying to destroy us all. Fitting that I should find out reviewing a comic, isn't it? Anyway, esteemed viewers, one and all, I give you Patriotica number one. This comic is pretty good, and I'm going to put it into my house of love. Being that this is a single issue, the pace is breakneck. We're thrust right into the middle of the narrative, with no rhyme and reason for who this Athena Omega is, or why and how she needs a host body to continue to live. This being so, it's at least in keeping with the traditions of heroes like the Green Lantern, whose powers were bestowed upon him by a dying alien. The artwork, courtesy of one Antipas and colorist Candice Hahn, is quite entertaining, and some of the close-ups put me in mind of Amanda Connor, and it's consistent throughout, even if the costume designs on the rescued heroine, Collateral D as I discovered later, and on Patriotica herself, are somewhat questionable. But then, being bulletproof does deflect some of that criticism. The writing, outside of the plot itself, does seem a little cliché in my opinion, as Erin comes off somewhat as a stereotypical teen, if only because this single issue is 22 pages, including cover, inside cover, and a preview of other upcoming Olympus titles. So there's not a massive amount of space for characterization. That said, there's plenty of action. And it's handled quite well, and the camera angles are all suitably framed. If I had to pick a flaw, it wouldn't be the Stars and Stripes supersuit, or the plunging cleavage. No. The flaw of Patriotica number one is originitis, or the lack of it. We're thrust into the middle of a story with no explanation and expected to just go with it. Which is a big ask, and much better comics have struggled with this. But this comic isn't without charm. And so we suspend our disbelief, and we do just go along with it. Or I do at least. So then, what do I think of this comic? It's not bad. It doesn't feature any kind of meta-commentary on politics or the like. It just tells a simple story about a teenage girl thrust into a crazy situation by fate, and looking to make the most of it. Would I recommend it to friends? Well, maybe once a few more issues have been published. But apart from that, I salute you, Madam Patriotica. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, why not consider subscribing? and ringing the notification bell. And, with apologies to Guru Larry, if you want to be super awesome, check out my crowdfunding links in the description below. But for now, I've been Funky Monkey wishing you good days and great entertainment. So long, folks!